we got a really interesting drop, another update from Unreal Engine 5. Now, they already had their MetaHuman creator, takes the creators to the really to the next level. You can make very lifelike, very real looking characters inside of this Meta creator. We've also seen some pretty cool spins on it, like a Project Throne and Liberty, where you can take a picture of your face and upload it into the game, and the, it will basically create a character for you that looks like you. Really taking that ability to create characters that give you that feel and that immersion and that I'm playing this game, I'm in this game, really takes it up to the next level. Now today, what we've got is a big update to the animator, the ability to animate the facial animations for these metahuman creators inside of this special character creator. It's pretty cool. In this video, they say that it used to take months from the special animation captures to getting any kind of viewable results. And now that is down to minutes and it only requires a phone. Let's take a look. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes all I need is a look. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine where everything will be processed locally. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. So from now on, it's just a single button click to kick off the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less than a minute to convert into animation. MetaHuman Animator uses a custom epic facial solver and landmark detector. We can interactively look at the animation while it's being solved and compare it to your original performance. Mel's MetaHuman should now be ready in the level. Mel, you excited to see the results? Yeah, can't wait to see it. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back, so this is blowing my mind. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. So the same thing works even on stylized characters. Now, what's really cool here and stands out to me, again, is not just this you know, the visual fidelity and having a character that looks like you and has these really lifelike, realistic animations. But that turnaround time, that turnaround time going from potentially months down to less than five minutes for this entire video presentation that they were doing here, getting almost instant results, right? They just, they just got to wait for the dude to put it in the machine, process it, export it. The guy even says the exporting only takes a couple seconds. Game development. And you have to think like Unreal Engine 5 is a very special engine, right? You don't even have to pay to use this engine, man. Like every indie dev out there can use Unreal Engine 5 if they want to. I've looked into the contract before the way it works and you use this tool, the entire thing for free, until you produce a game, bring a game to market, sell the game, and generate over a million dollars in revenue. Then, after the million dollars, Unreal gets a small cut. I think it was something like 5%. It's been a while since I looked into this, but it's very small. Just think of what this does to empower the indie developers. I said this last time when I did an Unreal Engine 5 video, but that is one of the beauties here for me, is the empowering of the small creator and getting small creator and indie dev created games that don't look crappy anymore, right? They could make Unreal Engine 5 games on the indie team, right? That's that's awesome. That's like one of the few downsides in the game. Now, like sometimes the retro graphics and stuff were pretty cool, but we've all seen games where the gameplay was pretty good and the graphics weren't really there and it was kind of like the one holdup. And some people, graphics are super important. I'll play all kinds of games where the graphics aren't great, right? Shout out to Vampire Survivors, for example. But I, when I made that video, I had some people comment that like the graphics are too bad. It was really a holdback for them and they couldn't get into it and enjoy it going back and playing on these graphics that basically look like, you know, Game Boy way back in the day, which I can understand 
hand, right? If you're spending thousands of dollars on expensive systems with these powerful graphics cards, we got graphics cards, right? That cost thousands of dollars on their own. You probably want to utilize that and have some really cool graphics going on. I understand it. I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was pretty cool. This next evolution on these character creators and not just the character creator, but now the animations and really getting those very lifelike, realistic animations, the way they're able to take the one animation and like, you know, extrapolate it out into a bunch of other animations. They can even use that facial like animation, you know, diagram or whatever you want to call it that they made template, yada, yada, uh, and then stick that onto all these other different creators, you know, these characters that they made inside of the creator, including stylized ones, like where they show the little kid. Now, I think the little kid one looks just slightly off. Maybe it's, it's the mouth, maybe like the size of the mouth and it's a little bit more open because it's on this like shrunk down, you know, character head and, you know, a little childlike, uh, but that mouth that was captured, you know, is just like, it's just slightly off to me. But overall, I mean, this is massive improvements over what we currently get in games, right? There's nothing worse really than when you're in like a nice RPG, the story is great and everything's good, but the characters when they're talking, they all just look so, so stiff and unrealistic, you know, it, it kind of takes you out of a little bit. It, it, it's a little bit immersion sapping, right? It, it definitely reminds you that you're playing a game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one.